Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we'll be uh, showing you guys how to remove and replace steering angle sensor guys on Chevy vehicle. We'll demonstrate on a 2015 Chevy Cruze, but it should work on many Chevy models. Some of them may be guys Chevy Sonic, uh, Chevy Trax, Chevy Equinox and maybe even Chevy Malibu guys. Now you have to confirm that this, uh, this is your sensor, that's what it looks like and uh, consult your manual but if everything states that it's the same, the procedure should be the same guys. Now always, always again consult your manual first. Quick introduction, every car we get at the shop we make at least 200 videos. Why? Because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. Uh, if you need any tools or parts, we have the link in the description of the video below. You can get parts and tools for super good price and fast shipping as well, so check it out. Now, let's go ahead, start on it and show you where that little guy is located. First, we will need to disconnect our car battery and then we'll continue, guys. It's very hidden location, actually. So first, we need to open the hood. That will be the first step, guys. Support it. And now, what we will need to do, we need to go ahead and find the battery, car battery. And now guys, it's very important how we disconnect it. Okay, you're going to disconnect the negative cable first. You always disconnect the negative cable first. Okay, so we're going to disconnect it with a 10 millimeter wrench. Perfect. Now, we're going to disconnect the positive. So, that cap is actually broken. What I'm going to do, remove it, otherwise you just open it. Okay, and let's, uh, let me show you now, we're going to disconnect, okay, the positive terminal here. It's very important to disconnect both of them. Make sure that the negative is far, far away. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just go ahead, lift it up, okay, and I want to make sure it's not going to touch, so I'm going to put a couple, okay, a couple quotes like that. Now, what we need to do, we need to wait, guys, at least one hour before the repair. Now, if you're not qualified or certified, guys, okay, to work on airbags, do not do the job. I wouldn't recommend it. So, uh, consider that, guys, entertaining video, not a how-to video, guys, unless uh, uh, you have the necessary qualification. So, let's go ahead and continue now. So, it's been at least one hour. Now, we can go ahead and continue on the inside. So, what we need to do next, guys, we need to get the key, insert the key, so we can turn the steering wheel. Okay, let me show you all the way upside down. Okay, like that. Extend it as much as you can towards you, so you have more room to work with. And now, let me explain, okay, what's happening here. Okay, sorry about the camera being a little bit crazy. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a screwdriver, guys. Okay, Phillips screwdriver, okay, like this one here. On the back you have two holes, so it's important to go in the holes, okay, you may feel pushing a little bit of foam, that's fine, make sure the battery has been disconnected at least one hour, go in an angle, okay, let me show you what angle we're talking about, okay, hopefully you can, you can see as much of an angle as you can, guys, okay, to the outside, now you're going to feel one metal piece, and when you do, pry to the inside. Okay, and let me show you what's going to happen to the airbag. Okay, it's going to get loose on this side. Okay, right here. Now we need to pull it a little bit, go to the other side. Now you're going to go, okay, this way facing, okay, to the outside on this side now. Okay, as much as you can. And grab the metal piece. Okay. Let me just grab it with two hands because I won't be able to. Okay, perfect. In came loose, guys. Okay, let me let me show you now in a better angle. So once we disconnect it, I'm going to remove uh, the airbag and show you how to do that. Now, what do we have here, guys? Okay, right here, that orange thing needs to come straight up. I mean, don't twist it left or right or anything like that. Don't use any metal tools because you can, guys, explode that airbag and that can kill you. And gently pull it out. Airbag is out. Now, with that being said, guys, I can explain, okay, what's happening here now. Let's just hold the light, okay, like that. So I can show you a little bit what's happening. Okay, perfect. Now, if I come with the screwdriver, okay, check it out, in an angle on the right side, okay, like that, I'm going to grab that metal piece right here and check it out how it moves. Okay, when I move the screwdriver to the outside, when I pry to the outside. Same thing happens, okay, on this side now. 
Okay, screwdriver is in. I'm going to pry towards the inside again. And that metal piece moves out as well. You can see, and that's how we guys, okay, disconnect the steering wheel airbag. So, now guys, okay, we need to go ahead. Okay, you can see this is the ball that we need to remove here next. And uh, we need to disconnect the cables. Okay, just push here up. Okay, and gently disconnect it. Now, some of the cables will stay with the steering wheel. This airbag cable actually stays on the cork spring, I think. So we need to just push it out like that. Now, let me show you what we'll be doing. I need to get, okay, uh, Torx 50 start looking bit. Okay, we have the set here. You can find the links for all the tools in the description of the video below. Okay, and now we're going to come from like right here. I'm going to get a big extension. Okay, big breaker bar. Hold your steering wheel. We have a second person hold your steering wheel. And get it loose guys okay just okay most likely it has thread locker so if uh, if it does or even even if it doesn't i'll recommend to uh, put some okay it's still getting it's still going pretty tight so let me see if i can actually do that with a little impact to do it a little bit quicker I have my steering wheel position straight up so I can see how to install it later. This is thread locker. You need to put quite a bit of thread locker here when you put it together. That way uh, your board will not get loose guys from vibrations. So grab your steering wheel, gently shake it now. Feed the cable for the airbag here. Okay, be careful not to damage it. And you can see the steering wheel guys, okay, came out like that. So let me show you guys what we need to do next. Why we had to remove the steering wheel, because right here now underneath there is two bolts guys and we're going to explain about that in a second. I'm going to get a plastic panel, remove all two guys and we're going to, okay, pry that thing out. Okay, like that, just get underneath, pry, then on this side too, there is a few clips here that will come up. Okay, like that. Now, what else we need to do, guys? You can see we have two hidden bolts. That's why we had to remove our steering wheel. So we're going to go ahead now. Okay, and remove the two bolts. I'm trying to figure out if you have, okay, if the light is good on the camera. Okay, perfect. So I'll go ahead and remove this quick. Okay, one is out. Now we have one more on this side. Okay, almost, almost out. Now we have one more that is hidden, guys. Okay, and it's hidden on the bottom side, okay, of the steering column. So let me explain to you, okay, where it is. You can see now, well, it is supposed to be right here, but this one is broken. Right here, guys, you have one more bolt. Okay, this bolt right here, you can see and our holder is broken there so definitely guys okay you have to be careful you can see this is where it's broken but otherwise you have to remove that bolt okay right here and that bolt is with the same seven millimeter socket guys as you can see but ours okay ours is cracked so i guess it was it was too tight and as a result it cracked guys so that piece out of the way now we can continue okay with the next step and show you what we need to do, that's what it looks like with those uh, trim pieces removed. So the steering angle sensor guys is actually integrated uh, and it's uh, actually not integrated but it's behind the cork spring. So we'll need to go ahead and remove the cork spring and then we'll continue and show you guys what we need to do. So make sure you stay with us now. Now guys for the cork spring what we need to do, okay let me explain to you quick guys right here. Okay we have one screw, two, three, four. These screws guys, they're with, uh, uh, with Phillips screwdriver. So we're going to go ahead now, get a Phillips screwdriver, okay? And we're going to remove four screws. Now, if you're removing this uh, cork spring, but you're reusing it later, you have to be extremely careful, okay? Not to turn it at all and to install it exactly, okay? In the same position, guys. So let me explain now. So we removed one of them, now the second one right here, the same way. Just unscrew it all the way. 
one on this side short screw is not very long by the way and now we have okay a few more there now you grab it guys okay here we need to disconnect the wire okay let me show you how we are going to do that okay see if i have a little bit of slack i don't think i will so we're going to bring the camera right there okay now i want to show you how to disconnect the wires on the cork spring that red piece we need to come back but here on that black piece you press and pull out now okay that piece right here will be a little bit okay tricky so i'll try to pull it a little bit out okay just to uh, analyze and see what we need to do now let me explain guys okay what we're doing here i need to get a flathead screwdriver we're going to pry that piece out okay you can see it came out now let me see okay we're going to get another person to hold the camera because i won't be able to do it with one hand we, we press down here pull it out we disconnect it now we have one wire on the bottom side let me show you underneath more 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 right there guys okay this is another wire that we need to disconnect and this one Let me get a small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and I think this one you pry it out. Yep, just gently pry it out. And the cork spring, guys, if you're reinstalling it, do not turn it at all. The cork spring is right there, guys, and that's how you remove it and how you replace it. So this is, guys, the cork spring. As you can see, the whole assembly steering angle sensor is right here on the back side of it. Now, how we need to, guys, uh, disconnect it, you have one two three four clips on that design uh, make sure that you don't have more you need to squish all four in at the same time and pull it up careful not to damage your cork spring guys do not turn it at all if you make one revolution you can mess things up okay so i do one at a time until it starts coming out then i do another one and gently pry on it okay guys and the steering angle sensor came out of the cork spring okay you can see just like that this is your steering angle sensor and that's what turns and detects guys uh, the movement of the steering wheel so as you can see guys this is it uh, if you need to buy a new one we'll have the link in the description of the video below thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time